Hello friends, here in this video, we will see the construction and description of inverted YouTube manometer. Here I have the diagram of an inverted YouTube manometer. See, inverted YouTube manometer looks like this. Here, this is the construction of that. Now, the important thing to understand here is that, I'll write the point here. Inverted YouTube manometers are used for measuring vacuum pressures. This is a very important point here. Previously, we have seen that differential manometers, they were used to measure pressure above atmosphere. Inverted YouTube manometers, they are used for vacuum pressure measurement. That is, the pressure would be below atmospheric. As we can see, here we have two different pipelines. Pipeline A and pipeline B. Both are containing the liquid, which has pressure below atmospheric. So, if we want to measure the pressure difference between two different pipelines, so we can use inverted YouTube manometer as I have shown here in the diagram. Now, for the calculation of difference in pressure, we need to balance the left limb and the right limb. How to balance that? As we can see here, there is section XX. Below this, we are having the left limb and the right limb. So, how to balance this? So I'll write here. Therefore, here this is pressure, I have to write it as pressure in pipeline A. Instead of adding, here I would be subtracting, that is minus, pressure in because of left limb because of this column H1. So that will be rho G into H1. This density would be of the fluid which is there inside this pipeline. So I will write here A. Next, for the right hand side, here I have pressure in this pipeline B minus H2 is the height of the fluid. So, this would be rho G into H2. Here, density is for the fluid in the pipeline, that is B. H is the height of heavier liquid. This heavier liquid would be either mercury or any liquid which is given, but it should be heavier than the liquid in the pipeline. So its height is h, so I'll write down minus rho g into h. Now, in order to calculate the pressure difference, we can write this as therefore pressure in A. I'll bring this pressure in B onto one side, so it becomes minus pressure in B. Now that will be equal to on the right side I have minus rho b g into h2 minus rho g h. This term minus rho a g into h1, if it goes on to the other side, it would be added plus rho a g into h1. So now, by using this equation, we can calculate, I'll call it as equation 1. So from equation 1, we can calculate the pressure difference between two different pipelines. So in this video, we have seen how to calculate the vacuum pressure by using inverted YouTube manometer.